Cooking Next is one of the world's greatest culinary phenomena. He's built a restaurant empire that spans the all across America. And he's now made his first foray into Europe with his luxurious steakhouse called Cut at 45 Park Lane, making his very first appearance on British TV. It's the shy and retiring uh, Wolfgang Puck. Uh, great, okay. <laughs> great, great to oh, have great on the show. So, so, on the menu, is it something traditional for you? This is really a traditional dish. My grandmother and my mother made it for me a little heavier. We had it as kids before we went to bed with a right. glass of milk. My grandmother added a little extra rum right. so that way we fell asleep really fast. Okay. So, so what's the name of the dish then? Uh, this is called Kaiserschmann with a warm strawberry compote. Okay, so, so you're going to fire away. I'm going to okay. get the compote on, which is... You start with the compote here with yeah. the strawberry sauce. So strawberries, sugar, a little orange juice and... Uh, star uh, anise. Star anise for flavor. And a little some vanilla. grand manier as well. I'm right. going to separate the eggs here, yeah. all right? Okay. Okay, so we're going to need eight egg whites and four egg yolks, okay? Now, is this a traditional dessert for anything, or is this You know, just... we serve it really at our restaurant cut, and we serve it at Spago, up in here, and then... All right, so people really love it. You know, they get so used to it that I cannot take it off the menu. It's amazing. Now, when you first started off, it was your, it was your mother that got you into cooking. My, my mother was a chef in uh, a hotel in Austria, yeah. and... My father was a coal miner, so I said, it's better to become a chef, you eat better than a coal miner. Right. So <laughs> my father wasn't really happy about it, yeah. but, you know, it's life. And that's how you started, but classically trained? He classically trained in France, mostly, yeah. and then... When I was 24, I went to the United States because I saw that everybody drives a big Cadillac, like everybody is rich over there. And on top of it, I wanted to be a cowboy, so it was perfect. Cowboy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you went to Indianapolis, didn't you? Yeah, I went right. to Indianapolis because I'm also a fan of car racing. So yeah. I went to Indianapolis, and unfortunately, or fortunately, I couldn't leave because I had no more money. I ran out of money, so I had to stay for one year. And you know, over there... Everybody ate their steak well done, and it yeah. was so boring to be in the kitchen, I couldn't believe it. All right, so now you are cooking the strawberries. Yeah, we'll talk about this I'm for the moment. I'm starting yeah. with my egg whites here, all right? Yeah. So eight egg whites, a little yeah. cream of tartar. We have it right here. Yeah. And mm -hmm. a little sugar, we're going to add it a little later, okay? So you want these whisked up, yeah? Start it slow, and then we beat it up. Okay. <laughs> While that is going here, <laughs> all right, you do that, that, bring it to a good boil. <laughs> I'm going to make my base here. Egg yolks, a little bit of fromage blanc. I'll just do this over here. All right, you blend it over there. And a little bit of our English cream, which is delicious. Are you hungry? No parsley yet? I'm uh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tricky. And then yep. raisins, sugar. I'm going to leave a little bit for my egg whites over there. That's about fine. Mix it together. Now, from Indianapolis, you opened your very first restaurant where? Where was it? The first restaurant opened was uh, Spago in Los Angeles in right. 1982. We are in, in the business for 30 years, which is really good. Yeah. Mm. A little rum. <laughs> Oh, if you come from the Highlands, you use whiskey. Yes, that's good. It's, yes. But you moved, you moved Spargo, didn't you? Yeah. Because it's now based right in the centre of Beverly Right in Beverly Hills on Cannon Drive. Yeah. yeah. And about a year ago, we started cut here at 45 Park Lane. So, yeah. so tell us about... It's my first restaurant really here in Europe. Because the, the chain in, in the States, you've got, what, 22 main restaurants? Yeah, we have uh, restaurants, plus we have some cafes at the airport. So I keep busy. He says right. restaurants. But you've got, you've got 22 restaurants. Yeah. 40 odd cafes. Yep. And okay. then this, this and, new and, one. and sugar and the egg whites, right. don't forget it. <laughs> All right. He's off. But. <laughs> oh. Okay, you clean up. He's a good cleanup guy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's your, your wife trained you well. Yeah, thank you. Right, right. Good. Wolfgang, why do you, why do you a good it, guy. Why did you call it Spargo? What was the. Huh? Why did you call the restaurant Spargo? Spargo, because of a friend of mine, uh, Giorgio Moroda, he gave me the name. You know, he's a famous songwriter from Italy. Did you take my spatula? Sorry, I've got a little. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now we're gonna fold the egg whites in great egg whites. See the guy that, that, that wrote stuff for Donna Summer. That yeah, yeah. Don, exactly, and also Midnight Express and all that crap, uh, all that stuff. <laughs> 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 we said we said nothing bad. That's not a that, bad word. No, go on, you're because right. Because we eat crap cocktail and right. crap. we actually serve it at cut too. Crap cocktail. All right. all right. Now you fold it in. Yeah. Did you sugar the pans a little bit? Sugar the pans. They've been sugared and buttered. Okay. The puree of the strawberries. Where is I'm it? I'm on with it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Don't forget. 
Now, about the, about the new restaurant that you've got, because you've got a steakhouse, you mentioned the fact that they didn't cook, cook steaks very well. I know, in Indianapolis, there. it was quite a shock for me. Like, everybody ate the steak well done, us, and I tried to make them eat rare, and all the steaks came back. Uh, it was terrible. So it was not a lot of fun being in the kitchen. All right, now look at that. We put everything in here, the flour, everything. Now, instead of putting it in a souffle mold, we're going to put it in a pan. Right. Is this traditional, then? It would be. This is a traditional thing, but yeah. I made it a little bit lighter, so yeah. that way you can have it as a dessert or... <laughs> That's lighter. <laughs> what? what is it if it's not lighter? Hey, you're Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you know, you eat pasta, it's light, see? <laughs> All right, yeah. done. Right, now, you can finish the, the strawberries. I finished the strawberries. Bit. He's off. Now, of course, all of today's studio recipes, including this one from Wolf Ganger, are on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. Don't forget, I'll be showing some of my favourite recipes from the Saturday Kitchen Archives, another best right. place programme. We Tomorrow morning, at 10 o'clock, over on BBC Two. Right. All right, here we have our strawberry compote. All right, see, nice. Right. You don't want to cook the strawberries anymore. Just warm them right. up so a little just, bit. Because we've got a minute left on that. Okay. So, so remind us what, what, what we've got in here, then. The strawberry sauce, you will puree strawberries. You can add raspberries with a little sugar and some orange juice and a little star anise. You can add a little gros manier. A little sugar depends the sweetness. And while they're in the oven, because they need about another minute, we've got, we've got some of the steaks from your restaurant here. Yep. Now... No. Oh, this, uh, oh, <laughs> look at that. Lunch. See you later. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye. These are delicious. So the explain to us what we've got here then. is on. Okay. Here we have American beef. You can see this one, the New York steaks here from Kansas, from Creekstone Farm, a friend of mine who actually raises the cattle. Yeah. And here we have Australian pure bagu. I mean, that's the most tender. It's also the most expensive, but it's really tender. It melts in your mouth. Because people look at this and go, well, it's, it's fat to meat, but this fat is... Fat is good. Fat yeah. makes you happy, and fat, it makes it tender in flavor. So if you have beef with no fat, it would be really it's, hard it's and chewy, chewy yeah. but the fat makes it really tender. Th so this is the Australian... The Australian Baguio yeah. and the Creekstone Farm from Kansas. Kansas, right, there you All go. Right. Right. You know, Kansas in the, in the middle of the country, they don't do many things well, but beef, they do well over there. <laughs> 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 All right, now... Are we ready? Yes, I've got this. All right, great got job. They look one fantastic. So you put a lot of the strawberries. If there are no strawberries in season, you can use plums, you can use apples. Thank you very much. Now, you're a, a, a big hit with the celebrity circuit over there, yeah. and you've been, you've been catering for the Oscars for how for many years? For 16 years now. Yeah, and you're yeah. still doing it? Still doing it, still having a great time doing it. Now, look at that, how beautiful that looks, huh? Have you ever done this for the Oscars? You know what? This, for 1,600 people, would be a little bit difficult <laughs> to do. <laughs> All right, a little powder sugar, but oh, just like that, and look at that, how beautiful. Now... Well, if you do that for 1,600 people, I'll come and help you. OK, I but think you should come and help anyway. Because no, I want to get you some guy to clean up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, remind us what this is again. Tell us what it is. This is a Kaiserschmarrn with uh, strawberry compote. So it's a delicious Austrian dessert. I made it a little lighter like my, what my mother made, but it's like a souffle. So delicate, with a little rum in it, a little raisin in it. There's Ladies nothing better than The genius, that. which is Wolfgang Puck. Mm, smell it. Go wandering off with it. There you go. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it... Wolfgang, I happen to know that with your delectable Kaiser Schmarrn, you love a sip of sweet Alsace Gewurztraminer, and I totally agree. But this is a rare gem, and it's not often seen on the high street. So I'm looking for something a bit more affordable. You could go for this great value Muscatel de Valencia. Muscat's good with the dish, but the flavours are a teeny bit too strong, I think. So the wine I've chosen is the premier Cote de Bordeaux from France. The right dessert wine for elegant fruit puddings like this one should never be dark, rich and sticky. Instead, go for the golden, lighter styles with plenty of crisp acidity along with all that sugar. Lovely aroma, peaches, apricots, lemons, just drawing me into taste. Mm, Bordeaux's dessert wines are a great way to go with strawberry puddings because they usually have that lovely balance between crisp acidity and sweetness. This one has a lovely citrus flavour 
And that, of course, works really well with the Grand Marnier and the oranges in the strawberry sauce. There's plenty of sugar, plenty of sweetness to take on those pancakes. And then on the finish, there's that lovely fresh lift. And that's what we need for the tang of the fresh strawberries and to go with that hint of spice from Star and Eve. Wolfgang, thank you for the perfect summer treat. And here's a glass of something special to go with it. Enjoy.